Hey guys, and welcome to a new video in this algorithm data structure tutorial. In this video, we're going to do an exercise and we're going to like implement some of the stuff that we've learned in this uh, tutorial here with algorithms and data structures. So we're both going to use some different kind of algorithms and also some uh, data structures like the tree data structure and the graph data structure, uh, which we talked about in some of the previous videos. And in this, in, this, in this example here, we're going to implement the nice problem where we're going to find like uh, the minimum steps for a knight on a chessboard. So we have this knight here that can move around uh, in some different kind of uh, possible moves on a chessboard. And we're going to implement a, a chessboard that has in, like an arbitrary uh, size, um, the chessboard. And then we're going to, to place the, the knight at some point on the chessboard. And then we have an end goal that we should try to find the minimum steps to. So let's jump into the first slide here, which is uh, the nice problem. And I'm going to like explain to you what the nice problem is and also like how we can get the minimum steps of the knight here. So we're going to find the minimum step from the start position that we give and then an in position that we want the knight to reach. And then we return the minimum steps that it took for the knight to get to that position. So in this example here and this exercise here, we're going to implement it as a tree and a graph approach. We can also use uh, some other different kind of data structures for this approach as well, but this is just so we use some of the different kind of things that we've learned in this tutorial um, along. So each node in, in the tree that we're going to um, that we're going to implement it represents a possible move for the knight. So let's say we have a knight here uh, that, that that is at this position here, then it can go to some different kind of positions, like it can go two up and one to the left or right, or it could go two steps to the to the left or right here, and then go one and two up or like down here and then one to the left. So this is the possible like the knight also I always like have eight possible moves. It's if it's in the middle of the chessboard here, like if, it, if it's over here to the left on the chessboard, like it will only have some different. Uh, it will only have like a couple of different kind of possible steps that it can take. So we need to take care of that as well. And we need to know where uh, the knight is on the chessboard. And then we want to find the eight or like the, the possible moves that it can take for, for that position. And then when we have found that, we just um, make a new node and set and uh, input that to our tree. So we will get like a tree data structure that has like the starting position at the root node and then the first node. And then we have that root node will have eight possible moves. And then the, um, the next root and uh, like the next node in the, in the tree will have eight, uh, eight nodes again, representing all the possible moves uh, for the knight that it can take in uh, on the chessboard. So in this example, when we were talking about like uh, this graph approach and tree approach here, we have some different kind of nodes. Then we're going to implement a breadth of search to find the, uh, the like the shortest path and the min and thereby like the minimum steps for a knight to take to reach it to its goal. So when we're doing breadth of search, as we talked about in the in the previous video, uh, we're going to the breadth first. So we're we're searching like all the nodes at one level uh, first, and then we're checking if that one of those nodes are um, are the end goal for. Um, for the night here and then we go uh, level by level and then each level we're taking uh, the breadth of that level first and then we go to the next level if we haven't found the possible move. So this is the chessboard here that we're going to implement and it can have an arbitrary uh, size um, here in the dimensions. So this will be the N dimension and the M dimension and then we place our, our knight here at some arbitrary place and uh, as, as well in, on the chessboard and then we generate uh, then we generate the possible like steps that it that it needs to take to reach a goal that we get again just set it to to in our function. So this is an example of the test that we're going to to do on our exercise when we have implemented this uh, minimum steps approach here for the nice problem. So then first of all here we have a function that just returns the minimum steps, which is the function that we where we do, where we will do um, the the preface search and do like the insertion of the different kind of uh, possible move for our knight. First of all, here we get like the length and like the width of our chessboard. So we just have some different kind of an arbitrary and some some different sizes of our chessboard that we're going to test our implementation on. And then first of all, here we give it a start position and then in position. And then we're going to um, do a lot of different kind of tests and see how it performed and how it finds um, the minimum number of steps from a start goal to an end goal. So we're jumping into code here and see how to implement uh, this exercise here in code. So we're not into the code here and first of all I'm going to show you the tree data structure and the nodes that we're going to implement our breakfast search on and how we can insert the possible move for our knight on, on the chessboard. So first of all here we have a, a, a node class here which is going to represent a node um, in, the, in the array like in the tree. So first of all here we have an x and y coordinate for each node because we need to know uh, the position uh, that our node or like our knight and the possible move is in. So we define, uh, represent that, that as an x, y on the chessboard here. And then we'll have a distance and then we can increment the distance here um, for each level that we're going down when we're doing a breadth of search. 
because then we know when we reach our end goal, we can just return uh, the position, like uh, the node, the, the node that is the end goal, and then the distance here of that node that is the end goal. And then we know uh, the minimum steps from the start position to the end goal by, by going through all the possible moves for, uh, for the knight on the chessboard. And then we have a constructor here that just initializes um, the x, y, uh, the position, and then uh, the distance, which is uh, zero um, for the root node. And then the, the more the, like the more levels that we go down, and the more steps we take uh, from um, uh, with our knight, like the longer, the, like the, the greater the distance is, and then we can return that distance and get the minimum steps. So this is just a class node here that we're going to use for representing um, the, like the possible moves in, in the tree. And then we have the tree class here, which it, which is going to um, contain a vector of nodes. So when we when we're creating a new node and when we're exploring a new possible moves, then we can insert that node um, on this node vector here in the tree uh, structure. And then we can have this tree structure that has like all the possible moves as nodes in the tree. We just have a constructor here, a default constructor, and then we have a function here where we can add a node to the tree. So in this case here, we're using share pointers here because we're going to uh, run a lot of different kind of tests. So we need to take care of the memory unless, uh, unless um, we only want to do one like one test, but we want to do multiple tests. So we want to like have pointers that is pointing to a different kind of nodes and the position so we can access them. And also so they would get automatically um, deallocated like a memory for the different kind of uh, possible moves and also um, uh, the, 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 the chessboard that we're going to implement, they will get automatically deallocated when they go out of scope. And then we can run multiple tests without uh, having overflow in the memory and, and stuff like that. So in this case, we're going to use share pointers um, as, all, uh, as I have a, a video about in the C++ tutorial on this channel as well. So we have this node, point, uh, node, node vector here, a vector of nodes, um, which is going to contain the number, uh, like the possible move for a knight on the chessboard. And then we have um, a, a no, add node function here that just adds a node that we pass as a parameter to this node um, to the node vector up here. And then we need, as I talked about in, in the slides, we need a, a function to determine if the position that we're checking is inside the board. And then we just uh, pass it the, the position and the height and the width of the board here. And then we return true if it's if it's inside the board, like if this position that we're passing to the function here is insi inside the board. Um, we return true and if it's not we just return false here and then we check if it's greater than like the position is greater than zero and if it's less than the width and the height of the board because then if these conditions are true we know that we're inside the, the chessboard and we can then return true uh, for this position and then down here we have like the, the, um, the main function um, like the function that we're going to implement a breakfast search in which is the minimum step for a knight from a start position to end position and it takes on the board height and the board width and then it also takes like the, the position like the start position for a knight and then the end position for the knight here and then first of all we need to check if the start and end position is inside the chessboard um, of course because if we want to try and in, find an end goal that's not inside the board like that that will just be impossible and also if we start at a position that's not inside the board it will also uh, make some uh, throw an error so in this case if we just see out that the position is not inside the board if we initialize the start start and end position um, outside the board. Then we have a vector here, um, which just is like the po possible move for the knight at one position, which is two arrays here. So we have f first one array here where we know that we can go two steps, um, two steps in the x direction, and then we can go one down in the y direction, and that will be a possible move for the knight for a given position. And then we can also do the same where we go um, two steps in the x direction and one step in the y direction. So these are just all like the red dots that I showed you on the chessboard in the slides. Um, so we set up the eight possible moves here for the knight for a given position. And then we can use these here to check um, check later on if they're inside if they're inside the chessboard and if they're valid and they haven't been visited before. Then we can insert uh, the new position that we're checking inside our tree and then um, when we're done and we find our end goal, we can return the distance, uh, the distance to that uh, to that node or like that possible move. So first of all, here we're going to um, create a, an object here of the root, um, a root, uh, which is a new node here. So we have a root node here where we just have the initial start position and and uh, like start position for the node here in the x and y, and we initialize it with a, with a distance of zero because if our root node um, is the end goal as well then um, we'll just like the distance or like the minimum steps, like it's zero because we won't take any steps to reach the goal. Then we create a, an object here, like or an, a pointer object here of the tree. So we're going to um, like add the nodes that we're going to, uh, like uh, the possible move we're going to 
add to this tree, uh, tree object here. And then we have a pointer here, which is the current node that we're going to check on. So first of all, here we have an X and Y here, which is just the position that we're going to have so two variables here, like two temporary variables that we can uh, use to like see, uh, see if the positions are, are true or like not. And then we have end goal here, like as long as the end goal not is, is you uh, reached, then we'll just keep on running in the while loop down here. And then we have a vector here, uh, like a matrix of booleans, which is this chessboard that we're going to implement here. It, like, it could be like a, a, a graph. And then the chessboard here, it just gets initialized with like falses in each position because the first time we're running this function here um, or like going through this, like we just initialize all the board cells to not be visited. And then later on when we visit the possible moves, then we set these positions here at the chessboard to true. And then we can use that to like know if we, if we should insert that uh, position or like that. Um, yeah, like that possible move into our tree or not. So first of all here we're going to uh, set the, the root node or like the start position um, to visit in this matrix here. And then we have uh, an, inst uh, an constant here which just like is a number like the number of possible moves that we have in for our night. And then a node number here so it keeps track on like which node we are we are at in our tree structure. So first of all we set our current node to root and now so now we're going to uh, go through the first uh, possibility which is the root like our start position and we're going to check if the start position is equal to the end goal and if, if it's that like we just go out of the while here again and return the distance but if it's not we'll update the current node to a new node and to one of the new positions and then we just keep doing this until our goal is reached in this while here so first of all here when the current cell is in the goal position then return the distance so first of all here we're checking if um, then the current node that we're checking like if the x position is equal to the to the end position of the x and the current node the y like the y position of the current node is equal to the to the y um, position of the of the end of like the end position that we want to reach and if these two um, if these two conditions here are true then we know that we have reached our end goal and we will clear our chessboard here to um, to make sure that we uh, deallocate all the memory that we have uh, de um, allocated to our, our matrix up here uh, for our chessboard. And then we return the distance to the current node, and then this will be the minimum steps for the knight to take from some start position to an end position. So down here we go through all the possible moves for the knight in the current position. So we have this for loop here that just runs through um, runs from uh, i equals to zero to the number of the possible moves, which in this case here is eight. And then we get the possible move from the current position. So we have this um, array here of the possible move for some um, for some position that we're at now, as I just showed you um, above here. And then we set this x and y here equal to the current node pl plus um, all like the possible moves in in the given position that we're in now. And then we set this x and y here to that. And then down here we check if if that position that we're now found and the next position like we go through all the eight possible moves here. Um, in this follow up here, but in this case here, we're just running through one. So we get one position here, uh, possible move for the knight in one position. And then we check if, if the new possible move here is inside the board and it, that it, it is not visited. So if we haven't visited, um, if you haven't visited the move yet and it's inside the board, then we, then we say it, that we have now visited and we create a new node of that, of that possible move and then we increment the distance by one because then we're inserting a new move and if we want to take that step, like we, we take a step of one and which, which is therefore that, that we increment our distance here by one. And then we just add the new node here to the tree with this function here, add node. So we have this tree structure here uh, where, we, where we have a vector of the nodes or like the possible moves that we can take. And then we add the new node here um, that has not yet been visited and also uh, that is inside the board. So then we will get all the possible moves and when we run through all the number of possible moves here in the for loop, then we'll get all the possible moves into our tree, um, and then we and then we just take the next node and take the next eight possible moves for that node. So we'll just get uh, these tree uh, tree structure where we get like one node that has uh, eight children, and then one node and, and those eight children would would have another eight children for all the possible moves um, for that given position. So when we have done this and we run through all the possible moves uh, for the current position, we set um, the current node here, or like the new node that we're going to uh, to find the possible move from, uh, to the to the nodes like the node number here, um, to the next node in the tree structure uh, that we set that to the current node, and then we just run through all of this again here, all of this again here until we hit the end position of the night, and then we, we clear our 
our matrix here of our chessboard and then we return the distance. So this is like how we can implement a breathless search and go through like all the all the nodes in one level and uh, before we're going down. So this is like because we're doing uh, the breath first uh, and like a breath first, first when we're searching down. And then down here when we're done, like we just clear our chess balls, uh, chess, chess board cells and return minus one if if we haven't found um, a possible solution or like the minimum steps to um, to our knight in position. So to implement this and test it, um, we, we're going to implement this driver here. We just like includes the tree here and then we just have this minimum uh, function here where we create a new tree here and then we just call this function and return uh, we, we return like the output from this function here as well which is the distance or like the minimum steps from a start position to an end position. So if we go down here to the main function we can see that these are the steps or like the tests here um, that I had in the slides. So if I run this program here and hit control B it will return all the minimum steps for all these different kind of uh, tests that we're running. So the first one here is an 8x8 chessboard and we start at position 4.4 uh, 4, uh, um, and then at 3.2 is the end goal for our um, for our knight and then we're going to do it again with with a thousand by thousand chessboard size and then we're going to go from the zero position and then to uh, 999 uh, comma 999 position so that's a lot of different kind of steps so let's run this program here and see what we get so the first example here we get uh, the minimum steps is equal to one because we only need to take one step to reach our goal and the second one here where we're going to have this uh, thousand by thousand chessboard here we need to take take 501 steps to reach this position here uh, this end position here and then we just do the same here for all these different kind of steps here and we can see that I like the, like the big, biggest like minimum steps here is when we're going to go from zero uh, comma zero to 909 comma 999 so we can run through all these tests here and we get these results here and it takes 6.4 seconds to go through all these different kind of possible moves um, in the nice problem here. So this is, a, this is an example of an exercise that we can do in an algorithm data structures and it's a really cool one where we have this uh, knight and we're going to both use some trees and some nodes and also some algorithms like a breathless search and, and this is a really good uh, exercise for using some of the things that we've learned in this tutorial so you can go Try to implement it yourself and you can also like implement it with a, with a queue instead of a, like a tree structure But this is just to like implement uh, as much as possible as what we have learned in this tutorial So thank you guys for watching this video and remember to hit the subscribe button and bell notification on the video And also like this video if you like the content and you want more in the future I'm currently also doing a curation tutorial in OpenCV um, in, in C++ and C++ and and reinforcement learning a tutorial in, in artificial intelligence where we're now talking about like how we can have an agent that is learning by interacting with the environment and then getting rewards from the environment. So if you're interested in one of those tutorials, I'll link to one of them up here or else I'll just see you in the next video guys. Bye for now.